Thank Congratulations you. on the uh, anniversary. Let's talk first about how you came public because there was a kind of uh, business news trifecta. Sure. You had a merger, you okay. had a spinoff, and you had an IPO, sort of all almost exactly the same At time. At the same time. That's so so we... easy. <laughs> <laughs> the first year has been an exciting one for us, and thank you for having us on our anniversary. Uh, so yes, we spun out of International Paper Company. It was a B2B distribution company. Uh, we merged with uh, Unisource, which was uh, held by private equity. Uh, we went uh, public immediately on the New York Stock Exchange. We hope to be listed in the 300 range and the Fortune 500 uh, after this year. And uh, we did an atypical uh, IPO all in the same day. And our stock started trading one year ago. So how's it going? I mean, uh, over the last year, uh, it looks like not much change in the stock. Um, this year has been a little bit rough. What do you need to do to get shares moving, and how much of that is your focus? Yeah. Well, I think, first of all, because of the complication of the transaction, our shareholders were a little confused about what, what we were um, because we did a mid-year transaction, and so looking at the financials was interesting. But we had a very successful uh, first year, I think, uh, and did a lot of work, and you can imagine the integration of two large companies. But three things we did very, very well, and we'll continue to add to uh, the earnings power of the company. First and foremost, our team came together and imagine we were 15 years competitors number one and two and they came together to work very well uh, together and they helped take care of our customers so that's paid dividends our shareholders we've met our shareholder commitments and actually our 2014 earnings were better than what we projected then why are the shareholders I mean it can't simply be they didn't understand the way the transaction worked I mean right. it was one year ago where's the missing link well I think they're waiting to see um, you know it's a brand new company new management team and they're waiting to see if we could deliver on our commitments and we have so far in the first three quarters of reporting could the issue be the industry when we think of growth industries where the futures going it doesn't feel like paper right um, there is no doubt that we have a challenge. We, we support three primary segments. Uh, printing and writing is one of them, and it is in structural decline. Uh, but today, that's about 55% per, of our revenues, but only 30% of our earnings. We have a tremendous growth platform in our packaging business, which is only 30% of our revenue, but 50% of our earnings. And so absolutely. So that's where you want to head. That's where we're. And, and since we're on focused. jobs day, I'm guessing you're hiring in that area of the business. We are. We're hiring across the business. Um, for example, I was in our facility. We opened up a brand new facility in Memphis, Tennessee this week, a 250,000 square foot facility. So how many jobs does that create? Um, we actually transitioned from three other locations into one. Um, we're staffing, uh, increasing our sales representation to try and grow in the market. Since you're moving from three other locations, does that actually mean you're decreasing the amount of jobs? In this case, it did not. Uh, so it really depends on the market and our ability to be successful in a market. You know, the job numbers are interesting, but they don't tell everything. Uh, I know there's a high expectation of better uh, job performance, but we, I believe, and we've seen it with our customers, that the uh, people are still underemployed. That comes from two real avenues. One is wages. Uh, people came back into the market with lower wages in some cases. But, for example, in the town hall I had this week, I had an employee ask me, how do I become a permanent employee? And so there's a lot of temporary employment uh, out there as well. And the answer to that question is simple. We need uh, growth in the business. We need more confidence. Most importantly, consumers need to spend. All right, we're going to talk about uh, more about that during the commercial break. But thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you. Mary Lassinger from Veritive, CEO and Chairman.